Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, my friends. This is Bishop Wooden here, pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I'm excited. I know you are. This is a marvelous time of the year. And some say it's the happiest time of the year. I'm excited because it is the time of the year that the world set aside to worship and acknowledge the birth of Jesus Christ. I want you to know Christmas has been a legal holiday in uh, America since the 1800s. For over 146 years, the only federal holiday in the month of December is Christmas. And my friends, I'm excited. I have a word to share with you this Thursday night at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. We're going to be talking about recognizing Jesus Christ and the blessings that are associated with being able to simply recognize him. There's a lot of clutter in the world today. And you got to see Jesus through all that you're going through, through all of the clutter. But listen to this. I'm honored. I'm honored because this Sunday, December the 25th, I get to do two very, very, very special things. And there are two things that I will, uh, I only get a chance to do uh, once every seven years. This Sunday, the Lord's Day, December the 25th, is also our Lord's birthday. So I get a chance to say a word. I get a chance to deliver my soul. I, give a ch I get a chance to preach, 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 teach, 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 and share the gospel on our Lord's birthday and on the Lord's day at the same time. <laughs> now, if that's not an honor, and if I'm not excited about that, let me tell you something, my friends. Grits is not grocery, and uh, chicken is not poultry, and Mona Lisa was a man. If I'm not excited about this opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you on the Lord's Day, which happens to be on the Lord's birthday. We're going to say happy birthday, Jesus. We're going to lift Jesus up. We're going to preach the gospel of Christ. 1030 service. We're at 1030 a.m. service will begin and the 11 o'clock service starts at 11 o'clock. We'll have prayer, praise and worship. And we're going to be mindful because people are traveling on that day. They're going to see loved ones. But for a precious while, a precious few moments, we are going to be worshiping the God of the Bible together on his birthday and on the Lord's day. Now, many will be traveling and we understand that people have their traditions, but let me tell you, I get a chance to do this only once every seven years. Seven years from now, I may be in heaven. Seven years from now, the Lord may come. And seven years from now, we may get a chance to do it again. But I tell you what, we're going to do it. I can't, I can't see canceling the Lord's Day service to celebrate the Lord's birthday. No, we're going to be here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, and we are going to have a time. Now, Merry Christmas to you. Happy New Year to you. Oh, and by the way, We'll do it. We'll talk about this in another one. But uh, it's that time of the year. It's time to lay hands on the people. What a year 2016 has been. 2017 is going to be something. The Lord has given me a theme for 2017. I can't share it right now. The theme this year was to submit ourselves to God and to resist the devil. And he would flee from us. The theme was Formula 16. That's the formula. Submit yourselves therefore unto God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And our testimony this year has been that God put the devil on the run as we submitted ourselves to the scriptures and to the God of the Bible. 2017 is going to be something. Come and get your blessing. Now, until Thursday night and until Sunday morning. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'll see you here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. We're going to celebrate. Come on and be a part of the move of God.